Let's continue writing a program for demonstrating images via Zoom. We need to add two functions, window position changing and window size changing. As the form parameter border style is in BS None mode, we can't change the form size and its position on the screen. In order to make it possible, we should execute it via an additional code. The position of the window can be changed when the mouse button is pressed, that's why we need to check this event. And if the mouse button is pressed, we can run our code for changing the window position. Now we need to choose the image component, go to the events tab and make double click on mouse down. Now we should write the following code. Let's write a release capture command in order to call an API function for getting a flow of messages related to the mouse. In order to change the position of the window, it is necessary to send a system message to the window with the code $f012. Let's have a look at how the program works. Now it's time to write code for changing the window size. As the size of the window changes, when we press the mouse button near the window edge and move the cursor, we need the same event mouse down and we should add code that will allow checking the cursor location at the moment when the mouse button is pressed. Depending on the cursor location, we will either move the window or change its size. Our code will now look the following way. We can see that the code works correctly, but the window proportions in relation to the image are not saved. That's why on the edges of the window we see a gray form. We need to have a look at the mathematics of the proportion correction and then add it to the code. If a user stretches the image strictly diagonally, the proportions remain the same, but if it is done not strictly diagonally, the proportions are lost either in height or width. There are two ways to solve this issue. The first method can be applied if one of the sides is longer than it is required and you want to extend the second side programmatically in order to save proportion. The second method is the opposite. If one side is longer than it is required, it can be programmatically diminished in order to save the proportion. Let's apply the second method is this way. When we extend the image strictly vertically or horizontally, the image size won't change. For greater clarity, let's take a 100 to 100 square. This way the calculations will be easier. Now we can calculate the coefficient of our side proportion. 100 divided by 100 equals 1. The coefficient in the case of a square is 1. Rectangles have other coefficients. In such a case, this figure can be more or less than 1. For example, we extended a square in height by 100 units and in width only by 25 units. Now the size of the image is 200 to 125. The new coefficient is equal to 1.6. Now let's deduct the coefficient that we had initially from the new one. We have the following calculations. Now, this coefficient shows how we enlarge the height. It means that the height has to be diminished by 0.6 or 60% in relation to the new width size in order to save the image proportions. It is necessary to calculate how many units, for example pixels we have in this 60%, and to deduct the result from the new height size. In such a way, we will adjust the height to width in order to save the image proportions. Now we should apply this idea to the code of our program. The adjustment of the size to the correct image proportions when the image is being enlarged or diminished will be executed in a separate procedure. Let's call it IMG proportion.
Coefficients of side proportion. A real coefficient for height. A real coefficient for width. The form size we changed is the new size for our image. A new coefficient for height. A new coefficient for width. Check whether the height is too high. If it is too big, we correct it. Check whether the width is too wide. If it is too big, we correct it. Resizing the windows raises an event on the form. That's why we need put on procedure IMG proportion in form resize event. Now we need to choose the T-Form component, go to the Events tab and make double-click on Resize. Now we should write the following code. Let's have a look at how the program works. Task accomplished.